Good morning one and all welcome to the video my name is Somil Shah and in this uh, tutorial series i would be teaching you about uh, getting started with pyspark so for those people who do not know me or are watching me for the first time my name is Somil i am a full stack software engineer i teach people on youtube about programming languages and upcoming trending technologies right so let's get started guys what are we waiting for so we are going to learn about pyspark basically uh, about everything about pyspark so let's get started so let me show you something before that so Spark SQL overview. So basically Spark SQL is a Spark module which is placed above the Spark core. It's available uh, since Spark 1.3, uh, that is 2015. Uh, it is used to perform processing on structured data called as data frames as usual. Uh, then as such, it performs operation with a high level abstraction and simplicity, more advanced than RDD including the exploitation of the data uh, on these data frame objects, the use of execution of SQL queries, you can use SQL queries also, uh, more advanced optimization and much more, right? That's enough of it. Um, just a diagram if you wanna see about uh, Spark. Uh, so yeah, that, that's, a, that's a small introduction. Now let's learn how to, uh, let's actually get started with Spark, right? So first of all, we need to install PySpark. So the entire notebook is there. So please feel free to, uh, you know, see my notebook or download it. So first of all, pip install PySpark. This is gonna install PySpark. And then you gotta import, uh, uh, so whenever you wanna create any uh, Spark, whenever you wanna create any data frame, first of all, you need to create a Spark session. So you you can, first you need to import it. So you can say from PySpark. Uh, let me see if I can make it a little big. Yeah, so from PySpark.sql import Spark session. So it's gonna import a session, right? Once you have the session, uh, you have to call the spark session dot builder. You want to build a session, uh, app name. So give it any app name you want. Master uh, is basically local because we are running on local machines, get or create, okay? So once you run that, and if you try to print the spark object, it's gonna give you this. So spark UI, version number, master, and app name is my process. So it's gonna give you a detail. If you get this message, congratulations. Um, you are able to configure your spark, right? I'm using uh, Google Colab. You can use Jupyter Notebook as well. So let's understand the data frame in PySpark, okay? So how do we even create a data frame? There are four ways of creating data frame in, uh, in Spark SQL. First one is programmatically from a list of values, a list of tuples uh, or from dictionary. So basically, I'll, I'll show you, don't worry about that. So basically you can create it from a list of tuples or dictionary, right? Then you can create from Spark RDD. It, that, is, that is basically defining the structure of the data. You have to define how their data is structured, right? That the third would be from JSON, like uh, Spark SQL supports reading external files, like different, different methods like JSON file, Parquet file, and other kind of files. So you can use that as well. So let us see a very basic example, okay? So I have a header called as city type and uh, price. It's basically the basically uh, think of this as a column name, right? So column name is these. Now, whenever you want to create a data frame, so first of all, uh, you have to like uh, define um, a map object. So this map object is basically, uh, it goes something like this, right? So let me just uh, show you like, so if I say map, so it takes three stuff. So there are three arguments. So the first, so let, let me tell you the third argument. So the third argument is basically the data or the list, right? So I'm giving a list of values, right? Separated by commas, right? The second function is basically an operation on, on that stuff. So uh, I'm saying, hey, uh, for each of this list, that for example, Paris food and 19, split it at comma. When you split an object, but when you split a, basically a string by comma, it gives you a list, okay? Just to let you know. And then I'm saying that for each list, that is for Paris, food, and 19. So that is, it comes to this function right here. And I say for lambda r, that means for each variable inside that, so which is basically a list, right? As I said, r of zero, which means it's gonna take the Paris, r of one, it's gonna take food, and float, we are saying this as a float, we are defining it, right? And this is gonna be a float. So we just define the structure of the data. Now, in order to create a data frame, we can say um, df is equal to spark, create data frames. We specify the data, that is the map object that we just created. And then we just say the headers, right? And if I say df.show, you have this nice data frame. 
All right, if you are able to get this thing done, that's pretty good. This is the first session of the PySpark, right? Uh, getting started with PySpark. So try the simple code out. Uh, I would try to leave the snippets on my GitHub. So this would be named as part one or something like that, right? So kindly do check it out and see if you are able to at least create a data frame. If you are able to create a data frame, uh, that's pretty good, right? Um, so by the way, if I wanted to print this, uh, let me actually insert a cell here. Uh, let me see if I can insert a cell here. So, okay, I actually wanted to show you how this object looks like. So as I said, I just wanted to show you how the object looks like. So once you print it, so this is the format, list of tuples, right? So I just printed it out. So here you can see, uh, it's basically a list of tuples, Paris, food and stuff and everything uh, is basically a tuple, right? So this is how it looks like, okay? Just wanted to show you uh, by printing that out. So I'm gonna delete that. So yeah, that's it. This is how you would basically create a data frame, right? So I hope you have enjoyed this uh, small tutorial and if so, do give a, do give a like. Uh, as I said, this is part one of the tutorial and upcoming videos will be going, uh, diving more deeper into uh, PySpark, right? So uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Uh, this is part one and see you in the upcoming tutorials. Goodbye.